Bow, 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 bow. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, okay, set. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Your ass better call somebody. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Hey, what's up, sports entertainment? Yeah, call us. 366-8950. Yeah, man. And uh, we come in with the road dog, you know, uh, sports here, entertainment I'm, tonight. So I said that you first don't come in. Y'all can't say that TV. Alright, we didn't play the song, so it was our version. Our version. Artistic freedom here. Um so uh well, yeah, poor Road Dog man. He was on uh, the little post raw with JBL last night and the guys, you know, uh, went through some tough times, you know. So hey, and there's the friendly uh, Christian Smith. Um, so how's it going, man? Pretty good, pretty good. You had a good uh, Martin Luther King holiday? Yeah, I watched the, the Boondocks went to the King Day. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, and already, Corey coming in. Let's tell um, Corey something. <laughs> let's see if we're going to... Whoa! What's up? What's up, Corey? Yeah, Peter? What it do, man? Happy Martin Luther King Day to you, Corey. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I have a dream yeah. that we will get some good wrestling at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. We need it. That Vince McMahon will not judge you, man, by the color of his skin or the size of his body. That you can win the Royal Rumble either way. Yeah. How y'all doing tonight, fella? Oh, I mean, I'm doing pretty good. I don't know how you're doing, Mark. Pretty well. Any better than we'd be you, man. What's up, Marcus? Pretty good. So, yeah, man, we're talking wrestling tonight. Uh, we've got a very big wrestling week. Um, you know, Royal Rumble week, which is one of the big four pay-per-views. One of the, you know, as a wrestling fan, if you don't look forward to the Royal Rumble... Then, you know, you, you should have wrestling. Right. You can't, you can't help because that means it's WrestleMania season, baby. Nah. Nah, what? What you got, Corey? What I was going to tell y'all. Why? Let me ask you something. Why is TNA so boring? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I wouldn't know because I haven't watched TNA because I knew it was boring like three years ago. Yeah. yeah I don't know. The Secret Chef is way worse than WCW. Why y'all on the air? They on right now. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I'm sure they've probably got wrestling fans that would maybe rather watch us than watch TNA, which is pretty bad, you know? I would rather watch y'all. Hot TV. I, I mean, like, at least, like, me and Mark can, like, chop each other or yeah. something, you know? I mean, that'd probably be more entertaining than TNA. Woo! No, we can have, like, we have like a, a, a AOC brawl or something. Mark. Mark. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you think about uh, Total Divas? I watch it, you know, it's uh Which it premieres tonight, does it not? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going wide. Cat fights right. Which I think uh becomes on right after we go off the air, uh around nine o'clock. So nine o'clock. I'll probably catch it tomorrow on Hulu. Nine o'clock. Yeah, your girlfriend's gonna be there. Yeah, what you got, Corey? Y'all watch Raw Lane Yep. Well of course. What do you think about uh, Monday Night Raw? What were your main thoughts on it, Corey? Hold up. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Holding. Hold that thought. I'm keeping it right there. I didn't like what they did with Roman Reigns. Well, what's new, man? Uh, Roman Reigns. Oh, you know what? They didn't want him to lose their belt. Well, you're darn right. They've got the cards stacked against them. But, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of understanding where you're coming from, Corey, because back whenever Stone Cold and Steve Austin was feuding with Vince McMahon, it's like you had a reason to feud with Vince McMahon because uh, I guess just like Stone Cold wasn't your typical champion that they had always had. He was kind of your beer drinking, you know. 
Yeah, and he was kind of a bad guy as the face yeah. of the company. Uh, but there's really no good reason for the authority not to want Roman Reigns to be champion. I mean, the dude looks oh, like a romantic that's... novel cover, you yeah. know? I mean, yeah, and he does kind of even come off as a badass, so the guys like him too, the little kids yeah. like him. And so there's really no plausible reason or believable reason why the authority would... I mean, you can't make me believe that uh, they have this big feud with them and they're like, they have it all out and they don't want Roman Reigns to be champion just because he wouldn't shake Triple H's hand. Yeah, he's better like Daniel Bryan. Because that's why they got in. That's why he whooped Triple H's butt is because, you know, they were having it back and forth. They kept on screwing him over and, um, you know, eventually Roman Reigns had enough. Yep, he did. So make it more believable. Why don't they want him to be champion? Give me some yeah, backstory. Yeah. You're going to say you just some owner something to be racist. I, Rather I than just trying him. to copy the Attitude Hello. Era. Why they don't want him to be champion? They have no good reason. I, I don't know why they don't why want they don't him, want to, be him to be champion. Because he is a good guy. That's what that's all about. You know but that's so simple-minded, Corey. You know, I mean, like, it should be more than, oh, he's a good guy, we can't have him as a champion, you know? I mean, like, you and know, it's got to be something, like, personal. Why, like, are they taking this out on Roman Reigns? Like, is it because yeah. maybe they got beef with The Rock and that's The Rock's yeah, family? Good, or, good, you know, I mean, give me some kind of storyline as to why they keep on trying to screw Roman Reigns over. Yeah. You should be a writer. Yeah. And that's what I'm be the rock. Of course I should be a writer. What I'm saying is right now, let him have the belt right now, right? But let you've got it. Belt right now, right? You follow me so far? Yeah. Let him have the belt right now. Let him have it for about a good year. Like winning the Royal Rumble, you mean? Yeah, let him, let him, let him have it for like a year. Well, I mean, I think if he does win the Royal Rumble, Corey, I mean, it's it's gonna really build him up. I mean, oh, it, but look what no. But Look at his Royal Rumble track record. Uh, I mean, like, he holds the record for most eliminations in the Royal Rumble. In his first one, he had 12 eliminations. Uh, last year, he won the Royal Rumble uh, and got booed out of the building, by the way, afterwards. He won um, the championship, and he was cheered the same building. No, oh, but look what, what I'm saying is, you know what's so crazy? Look what number they got to make. They oh, gotta yeah, make number one. Yeah. And that was engineered. That's kind of odd. So, what if he throw? What if he get? What if he get thrown out first? Well, that's not the first time they've intentionally given somebody a number one. You know, they've done that to other babyface superstars before. Yeah, like Rey Mysterio. Uh... I've seen this already, man. You yeah. remember this whole gimmick? Yeah, they've done this storyline before. They're they're recreating uh, that. They're trying to recreate the attitude the only era. Thing to go in after and they can't. Is they can't. The next oh. Bret Hart? Yeah. I don't think they can. That's what's gonna happen at this Royal Rumble. You think it's gonna be two people going out at the same time? We're talking to our buddy uh, Blake Dozer here, who's also on the set. Um, you know, and for some reason he doesn't come on film, but hey, you know, we've got him as our, our side go-to guy. He's coming with stats. He's coming with picks. He's coming with all the good stuff. Yeah. And then, or they also did it for the Royal Rumble 2002. The Rock and, uh... Yes, we actually do have some trivia. The Rock and Big Show and, uh, what the trivia is going to be? Um, let's see. Corey, who holds the record... For the longest amount of time in the Royal Rumble. And they were in the Royal Rumble for 62 minutes and 12 seconds. Would that be Ray Mysterio? Ding, 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 ding. ding. You are correct. Okay, on the flip end of that, who holds the record for the shortest amount of time at only one second in the Royal Rumble? Wait, the shortest? Yeah, At only one second in yeah. the Royal Rumble. Yes. He went in and went out. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Let me think about it. Would that be Stone Cold Steve Austin? 
No, I don't think Stone Cold ever had a time where he won, uh, only went one second. Oh, no, uh, I'll give you a clue. Cobra. Wait, what? The Cobra. The Cobra. Yeah, with your hand on a sock puppet, maybe? Oh, 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 oh. Um, um, Santino Morella. Aha, yes, sir. And while we're on the Royal Rumble trivia, I even thought about you when I wrote some of these down. Who holds the record for the most Royal Rumble victories? Oh. Well, did you type in the answer, Corey? No, I didn't know it. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Let me tell you all something. I've, I've been watching wrestling since 1990. What? What? 1993. What? What? You heard me. What? I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. The answer to the trivia question I just asked you was Stone Cold Steve Austin. But anyways, as you were saying, you've been watching since 93. Did you watch WrestleMania 9? That was like probably the worst WrestleMania's. Think so? I think I WrestleMania watching. 11 was probably the worst. Hey, hold up. I've been watching since, uh, L.T. Lawrence Taylor. That was WrestleMania 11. Good memory. Yeah. LT. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, he's supposed to be a little hurt. What you got for me, Mark? <laughs> what you got for him? On the trivia? It don't matter. Anything. What you got? Yeah, just talk to him. All right, talk to you. Uh, who was the first WWF? Champion. The first, first ever, huh? Yeah. Let me see. Can you give him a year? 61. 1961, Corey. Like, we have two people that has his nickname. And he, the guy that took his nickname is the two-time Hall of Famer. Wait. That's a nickname. The like, Nature Boy, right? Yeah, Nature Boy. But what was his Wait. name? Hmm. He's the original Nature Boy. The original Nature Boy. Oh. He's the original Nature Boy. He's the... Rick Flair took his moniker. <laughs> Isn't it Buddy Rogers? That's <laughs> Buddy Rogers? Yo! Yeah. Hey, good job, Corey. Which, Corey, we got to get to uh, our Royal Rumble coverage. We're going to get to our some uh, predictions and, and try to get to a couple other callers. But we appreciate your call, man. Yep. All right. But, uh, yeah, give us a call uh, next week. We'll be on same uh, same day, same time. Same time. Be there. Hey, hey Mark. Yeah. Whenever I call back next Tuesday, uh -huh. I got to get your stuff. All right. All right. Sounds good, man. Well, we appreciate the call, Corey. All right, y'all be cool. All right, you have a good night, man. All right, y'all too. All right, peace out. Well, as usual, we always appreciate um, all of our fans, all of the callers. You know, uh, 366-8950. If you want to hear your voice on the air, we talk wrestling here. Uh, but, you know, hey, we've got a lot of stuff to talk to, uh, talk about. Uh, we've got the Royal Rumble, and we kind of went through some of those Royal Rumble facts, you know, and I actually pulled that trivia from the uh, Royal Rumble by the numbers thing that they presented on Monday night. So it's 30 men. Uh, there's been 28 Royal Rumbles, 811 competitors, um, you know, uh, which... 43, more, more, more 43 Hall of Famers, right? Uh, 46, it said, and eight of those Hall of Famers have won. Uh, Kane has had 42 eliminations, uh, and he holds the record for most eliminations. Stone Cold won it the most three times. He's the only one to win it three times. Uh, who else won it two times? Anyone? Shawn Michaels. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Shawn Michaels and... He won, he won two in a row. Yeah, brother. And, yeah, Hulk Hogan. And Hulk Hogan. Twice. Um, let's see, Rey Mysterio, longest time in there, Santino, shortest time, Roman Reigns, most eliminations, it's been 18 years since they've had a two-time back-to-back winner, um, let's see, which I guess was Shawn Michaels, uh, six former winners in the Royal Rumble, uh, this year, uh, let's see, they got Sheamus, Del Rio, 
Uh, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, um, and I don't know who the other two are. Randy, uh, I'm thinking Randy Orton, maybe. Randy Orton, Which, of course, they didn't advertise Randy Orton. It could be a surprise. Or Triple H. Uh, could be Triple H. Yeah. You know, we'll see. Uh, but as of right now, you know, and we're going to get to our predictions, uh, but the Royal Rumble, they basically confirmed these 27 yeah. names out of the 30, yeah. uh, leaving only three spots open, which I'm thinking spots. if they need another spot, they'll pluck, you yeah. know, maybe one of the four-man band, band he, off. He, you he know? has a on Facebook. But, uh, oh, oh, we'll see on Sunday. Yeah. Um, but let's see. So far in the Royal Rumble, we've got the world champion Roman Reigns. Uh, who has been already established as the number one pick? Believe that. Uh, believe that, yeah. Uh, we've got the Winer 2J, uh, Chris Jericho, um, who has just been totally unimpressive for me since he's been back. I don't know, just put me to sleep now, Jericho. Shirt, like just wearing a jacket. You know, Whatever. Uh, we've also got Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar! We've got to give him justice there. Um, also, Bray Wyatt looks to be a strong contender in uh, the he's Rumble your, match. He's, his, he's our pick. Our pick. Well, he, you know, standing up tall to end Raw last night, you know, and whipping uh, up on Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. I think, I think Bray Wyatt needs a championship. Do you think he's ready? Uh-huh. Why not? Huh? You don't think so? No. Blake hopes not. Yeah. He's not used. I'd like to see it, but he's we're not ready. Yeah. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't know if the world is, you know, but, um, hey, so those are the four big names, um, you know, your headlining names in the Royal Rumble. Uh, they've also got, uh, you know, the League of Nations with Sheamus, Alberto Del Rio, Rusev. I don't think Wade Barrett's going to be able to go. He hasn't been wrestling. You know, I think he's got still yeah, sure. nursing an injury. Um, also, of course, with Bray Wyatt, they've got the uh, Wyatt family, uh, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, Braun Strowman. Uh, they've got Dolph Ziggler. You know, yeah. when she wasn't on Raw last night, mysterious absence, uh, Big Show, Maybe who really man. poses kind of no threat, yeah. really. I mean, sure, he's the Big Show, but and he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle yeah. Royal last year, but... But the last thing like, he ever did was the Andre Battle Royal was the last time he ever was relevant in 2005 or 2004. Been a while. Yeah, poor Big Show. Um, they also got... Uh, stupid! Feed Me More, Ryback, uh, the Dudley Boys. Uh, we also have the Social Outcasts. We've got some news about them. We'll get to that here in a second. Um, yeah, we've got uh, Heath Slater, Bo Dallas, Curtis Axel, and Adam Rose, which I imagine if they need to make room for another superstar to come in, they'll boot one of them. They'll boot like Curtis Axel. Well, not Curtis Axel. They'll boot probably either Bo Dallas. They'll keep Curtis Axel, but they'll, they'll probably boot hey. Curtis Axel, Adam Rose. Curtis Axel, the only person who ever got eliminated last year. Yeah, he still hasn't been eliminated. Yeah. Um, which, of course, Tyler Breeze has pretty much been relegated to the bottom of the barrel once again, as predicted here on Sports Entertainment Tonight. We saw it a month before it happened. Um, I knew it. I knew it would happen. Um, we've also got the... Uh, what's that? Why did they keep him in NXT, helping the women? Well, it looks about where he's headed back to, you know, so. Yeah, you ever watch that, that breakdown? I did, yeah, I did watch like, the breaking well, point. Well, he's been, he's been there since, like, from uh, when they had part of the championship wrestling. I guess they, were like, he paid his dues and he went to the main roster. And he was like, was like yeah, that was the only reason he was on the main roster, because he had paid his dues. Yeah. You know, but it doesn't mean you're good. The you know? gimmick is not strong. Not at all, because it's, like it's been done a, a thousand age, times. It's like a new age, like, horses and boys all kind of get it. You know, he does, like, the mirror thing with what Chong Abu used to do. And... Surely. He needs a woman in him. Oh, yeah, well, yeah Summer. Yeah, yeah. Summer there. Yeah. So, yeah. Woman wrestling. Come on. Like, uh, maybe you were worried. Yeah, it's a chance to be wrestling. Don't ever bring up Eva Marie. Or somebody like some big woman that he can uh, he tags yeah. with and like get heat for. What's the Not get your cousin? Was that? What's her name? She should be in the Royal Rumble too. Yeah. Oh, Nia Jax. Ooh. Yeah, maybe next year. Maybe the year 2018. Hey, She'll have the chance. Trying to win the. No, Jax is a beast. I could see, I mean, her being like a China eventually. They wanted to have a rumor like they wanted Sasha Banks to win the Intercontinental Championship. 
So we were talking about Royal Rumble contestants. Royal Rumble contestants, yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so they had the Ascension, and just to finish out the list of who they have, Neville, R-Truth, Titus O'Neil, Mark Henry, and Stardust. You know, so nothing really that impressive <laughs> as far as you know threats to actually win. So that leaves three spots open. Goldust mm. didn't wrestle. Yeah. Well, and I have a big old list of names. Goldust is one of those names. So my top headliner names... Uh, there are rumors that AJ Styles may be in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty much, you know, got his last date of Ring of Honor set, you know, to work there. Um, and he's even kind of been rumored that he's on his way. I think Randy Orton's coming back. There has been mention of Randy Orton coming back. Um, a lot of people are even thinking that Triple H even might even enter the Royal Rumble just to try and take out Roman Reigns. Um, Finn Balor is another possibility. Your NXT champion. Even though I don't think that one's going to happen. Um, Samoa Joe is a possibility, in my opinion. Um, RVD is, as said, uh, you know, gone on record saying he wants one more run, you know, and why not at WrestleMania time? Three Kevin Nash. He's Harris Klein, why didn't come in there? Sure. Uh, as you mentioned, Gold Dust. I don't think Wade Barrett's going to be a part, nor Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder's doing his NXT ooh, thing, ooh. kind of. Um, but Alberto Del Rio is pulling double duty. He's in the U.S. title match and also in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, so, possible, well, no, he's the only one that's announced to be in a match and in the Royal Rumble. Brian Ambrose or uh, Kevin Owens, they're not going They have not announced it, at least. You know, So, it is a possibility that they could put Kevin Owens. I mean, like a couple weeks ago, I'd said Kevin Owens is a possibility to win it. Yeah. You know, but um, they could maybe throw Kevin Owens in there. And, you know, the New Day are always a possibility, too, because Kofi Kingston you know, has a history with the Rumble. Yes. So let's see what we got here. Hello. Hey, you're live on Sports Entertainment tonight. To whom do we have the pleasure of speaking with? Who do you think? Gerald Hunter. Hey, what's up, Gerald? Well, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? What did you, you know about Raw last night? Excuse me? What'd you think of Monday Night Raw? Yeah. I didn't like it too much. Not last night. Yeah, yeah it did kind of seem like they let down the momentum. Like the first night they haven't had a Monday Night Football game uh, to compete with. You know, because last week they had the National Championship. Um, and it's just kind of like, and it was the go-home show to Royal Rumble. And it was just kind of let some of the air out of the balloon, so to speak. Yeah, well, that Chris Jer Jericho takes the show over on it like that. I don't think Chris Jericho is a big wrestler anyhow. Well, he is a big wrestler, but I was saying the exact same thing, Gerald, that like he's just like a shell of his former self. Like He's putting me to sleep. He, he's doing his 20-year-old cheesy catchphrases that weren't even that popular 20 years ago, and he's doing the same exact ones. He's doing them with no enthusiasm, so it's like boring, uh, and he's not putting anything over. The only thing good about the show is Stephanie McMahon and her father right now. You're you know right I mean? about that, which Vince pretty much just came in and took Triple H's spot, it seems like, you know? Um, yep. And, I mean, that's not believable. Yep. Triple H is a big old freaking bodybuilder, and Vince McMahon's an 80-year-old man, you know? 70-year-old man. Yeah. But, I mean, like, I'm with you. Some of the writing doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, I mean, I wasn't even crazy about the Total Divas promotion. I mean, I, I get that they got to do it. Yeah, but, uh, but, you know, it's like Natalia, one of the best wrestlers you got, has been sitting on the sidelines all of 2015 pretty much. You know, and you just bring her back just to kind of promote the show in like a, a one-minute match. You know, great. Well, yeah, but she's been taking care of I guess Corey's going to be disappointed. Uh, you know, Paige is getting married. Yeah, I did kind of see that on the Total Divas uh, thing, you know, but whatever. Uh, yeah, Corey will be, uh, Corey don't give a damn, though. I mean, he'll holler a page either way. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Uh, anyhow, what I was going to say was it's going to come down to, the Royal Rumble's going to come down to two people. That's going to be Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. I'd say that's what they're building it up for. That's how it's going to end. Well, I mean, I agree with you, but you got to be able to throw Bray Wyatt in that mix because he's got the Wyatt family. He went out tall last night to end Monday Night Raw. Pretty much the family took out Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. So, I mean, I think he's a legitimate third candidate to possibly win because if you're trying, I mean, think as the WWE, you need to establish some new stars because they're in this pickle right now because they, they haven't been building up their new stars. They bury all of them as soon as they get anywhere. 
you know, so I mean, it really is a good opportunity, a golden opportunity even, to put the title on somebody like a Bray Wyatt or a Kevin Owens or somebody that can really, they can establish as a, a top heel for the future. Uh, but he ain't going to have all four in the ring at the same time. He's going to have to fight by himself. I don't think he's going to do it. Well, and get this as well, Gerald. Um, it's kind of breaking news today. It just broke today that uh, Daniel Bryan actually is going to see the WWE doctor this week. And he's already been cleared by, like, the Super Bowl doctor, the Super Bowl neurologist. Yeah. You know, and, and that said he was golden, good to go. And the WWE's just kind of been hesitant on pulling the trigger on him. What better time do they need him more now uh, to have a big name on that marquee than to bring Daniel Bryan as a surprise in the Royal Rumble? Oh, oh yeah, the crowd would go crazy yesterday. When oh, they would go out. ape shit. Yeah, I mean, it would be, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Especially yeah. if they do yeah. it at number 30. You know, wow. Well, his, wife don't want, his wife does not want him to go back to wrestle again. I don't think he cares. He loves wrestling. Uh, you don't want to get a divorce. That's, right? that's what then, no, that's what she signed up for. She's a wrestler too, you know. So they have the same legitimate, and that's that's all storyline on Total Divas. That's not real, Gerald. I don't consider her a wrestler. Uh, well, yeah, well, some of the wrestlers ain't real neither. We all know that. Surely, but a lot of the Total Divas stuff is scripted, you know, as far as the scenarios and the arguments and stuff like that. It's a show, it's yeah. A show. Yeah. Well, this is before WrestleMania came up about Brian and all, because he was worried about him getting hurt again. Well, I mean, he like he's that because uh, he's been medically cleared. Doctors have cleared him, so what's what's the holdup? Well, you know, one of them is ready to quit. I think it's the one that was married to him. I think he's gonna quit if he quits. Well, nobody ever said wrestling was an easy business. I think they all know what they're signing up for, you know, to be like, you know, old and crippled whenever they're in their 50s, you know? I mean, it is what it is. It's wrestling. Yeah, I mean, we, we'll, get, we'll get to that. I can't hear your partner, too. His microphone must be off. Well, he's not even sitting by a microphone, uh, so you might not be able to hear him uh, great, but... Iron Mike Sharp uh, is what he was saying that uh, died at age 64, uh, an old school wrestler from back in the day. I don't actually recall. He was like, he was like sure. an enhancement talent. He also like uh, he, uh, pretty much he trained a lot of people. Like who he trained? Uh, friends, uh, uh, the Headbangers. He, oh, really? Yeah, trained a lot of people. He's just a big man. So you think um, that pretty much um, you've got either Brock Lesnar or <laughs> Roman Reigns winning the Rumble? Well, like, remember how the first they were fighting before for the belt, and what same soul he came in there and, and pinned uh, somebody. Brock Lesnar was the champion. Remember? It certainly appears that it's heading that way, Gerald. Although I'm hoping that they don't do the history repeats itself WrestleMania again, um, because I'm not a big fan of WrestleMania rematches, especially in the main event. Um, you know, I mean, it's one thing if you're doing it with Stone Cold and The Rock three times because those are the two biggest names ever. You know, but like for instance, when they did John Cena versus The Rock two years in a row, it just it was terrible the second year. You know, it was okay the first year, but I mean, just like nobody wants to see a WrestleMania rematch. Especially well, what about the Undertaker and uh, Triple H to, uh, like two years in a row now? No, not two, not him, his partner. Right, yeah, um, they did right that now. one a couple what, what years in a row. I mean, it just gets stale uh, after a while. At least they did it in the hell in a cell. That's who it was. He was wrestling twice in a row. And then Triple H went in there and got his head busted out. So. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're right about that, which I think right now, really, uh, it, it kind of makes for an exciting WrestleMania because... You know, really for the first time in a couple of years, the card is still up in the air, and they don't even really know what the matches are going to be. Yeah. So it hasn't leaked out on the internet, and so not everybody else already knows, yeah. you know, because typically at this point, if everybody's healthy, like a lot of the WrestleMania feuds that are going to be coming have already been leaked out at this point. You know half the WrestleMania card already. Yeah. Not this, yeah. Year. Not this year. You think it was the Andre Warrior on Battle Royale? Yes. All well, I know who number one is, that's uh, Roman Reigns, like I thought he would be. Because Vince McMahon said that he would fight all 29 competitors. But there's going to be more than 29, I'm afraid. I think it's going to be about 30, 31. Which, let me get your opinion on this, Gerald. What do you think Vince McMahon's beef with Roman Reigns is? Like, why don't they want him to be champion? What is so wrong with Roman Reigns? What has he done to yeah, them what's wrong? The, what's the plot of... 
I mean, I get uh, why maybe he didn't want Stone Cold to be champion because he was drinking beer and cussing and stuff like that. But Roman Reigns is like a role model for kids. I don't get it. Uh, the reason why is because you don't have any respect for Triple H. And that, that's it because he wouldn't shake Triple H's hand and join the authority to just get the title for yeah. free? That's the reason no, no, why no, we have to believe that. That's the reason. It's just because yeah, you don't show any, any respect for him at all. Right. You know, well, you don't say uh, make, uh, you're doing a good job, Triple H, or whatever. You don't say nothing like that. You, you don't have any respect for McMahon. Either, which and I, I would agree with you, Gerald, control. that that's the reason why they're doing this to, uh, to Roman Reigns. But I just think they yeah. do a very poor job of reminding us of that. And like, okay, well, why are you so mad at Roman Reigns? What did he do to you? You know, I mean, they don't ever make mention of that, like, why you hate Roman Reigns so much. What did he do to you? You know, what is it about him, you know? Or it, it can do like a thing like uh, yeah, all the heat he has with The Rock. And then... Sure. But you know what, that, like, uh, what if he says, I don't like Roman Reigns because, you know, you remind me of as much as The Rock does. Uh, I think it's too much like Paul Sloan with Steve Austin. That's what I think, even though he don't drink. I agree. I agree with you, man. I think they're digging way deep in the barrel to try and do way too much Stone Cold stuff with Roman Reigns. Yeah, that's what I think so. But I hope uh, Brian does show back up, and I hope two more people that came from WWF or WWE, whatever you want to call it, that left and went to another wrestling program, the Hardy Boys. Aha, uh -huh. well, we were just talking about that, and they, it's a possibility. Their T, uh, contract with TNA is pretty much done. They've said they want to go back to WWE for more one more run. I'm thinking, it, though, it might possibly be <laughs> after WrestleMania, uh, but then again, it might be just in time for WrestleMania. I don't think it's going to be at the Royal Rumble. No, I don't think so either, but I think, it, it, well, it could be. It should be back. right around WrestleMania time, possibly to build up for a fatal four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match between them, the New Day, Usos, and the Dudley Boys. Yeah, that could be it. Yep. So, uh, well, you got anything else for us, Gerald? New Day, but I think they're about done. I want somebody else to do it now. I, I, I'd agree with one. They haven't won in like a month either, like two months even. You know, I mean, I don't remember yeah. the last match they've won. At least your trombone's broke. Anyhow, I'm glad of that. The champions, too. <laughs> right. Well, I, I hear three people, so, yeah. Well, I mean, the New Day's good, but, I mean, still, they should have somebody else. Like, like uh, what happened to Lucha? What happened to the other Lucha Dragon? What happened to him? He got, uh, he got hurt. He hurt. Like, I guess he hurt. He's hurt. Yeah. I'd like to see them win the belt, the title. Oh, well, yeah, uh, you got uh, Kalisto versus Alberto Del Rio in a uh, U.S. title match this Sunday. Yeah, well, they both wanted it off of each other, so we'll see what happens on the rubber match. Yeah, yeah, well, so we, we'll see. We will definitely see. Yes, indeed. Well, I'm, I'm thinking that he's going to hold that belt until John Cena comes back, and John Cena will take it back off of him. Well, that's going to be a, a good while, you know. I mean, it'll definitely be after WrestleMania. Uh, but they yeah. do have four title matches set up uh, for Sunday, which, of course, we were eventually going to get to this, hopefully. Um, but uh, last man standing match, uh, intercontinental title uh, between Dane Ambrose and Kevin Owens. So that should be yeah. very interesting, uh, be hardcore. Oh, I love that one. I love that one. I hope Ambrose beats him back. I really do. Oh, yeah, and I and think Kevin Owens makes a great deal, too. He put down a little bit. And, you know, Seth Baxter knows how bad he can lose. That's what I want to see. Then Kevin Owens can wrestle all he wants to after that. But right now, he thinks he's bigger than everybody in there. I, I Well, yeah, I mean, but that's what a great heel does. Oh, a great heel, yeah, well. Roman Reigns was a great heel at one time, and so was Dean Ambrose. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, well, yeah, man. Uh, and also, uh, they got the tag team title. Yeah. Uh, New Day versus Usos. Yeah, uh, that'll be a good one. Yeah. That'll be a good one. I hope the Usos win. Then Roman Reigns will have his title, and they'll have their titles. So they'll have most of the belts. So, I guess we'll have to wait to see till Sunday, man. 
So, um, yeah, you got any uh, other questions or comments for us, Jared? We're going to uh, move on. Okay, I'll let you go, but I just want to say one thing. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, roll. Here, All right, bad. what are we talking about, nice. basketball or something? Oh, wait, no, I guess they had the national championship last yeah. Monday. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Go Tide. All right, well, that was Gerald. Uh, once again, we appreciate our callers calling in. And, uh, yeah, we haven't even started talking about Raw. we got about 20 minutes left. Yeah. Um, so, talk about Raw, Mark. Let's talk about Raw. Uh, it was like a uh, pretty much a, prom- a vignette of uh, the Eagles Rocky King Day. Yesterday, they had a little, pretty much a video about <coughs> the history of uh, you know, uh, African Americans in wrestling. Boober Brazil, you know, Orny Ladd, uh, Junkyard Dog. I thought it was a good little video. uh, I give him props, you know. um, And, um, you know, Martin Luther King is the man. So why not? Martin Luther King Day. And then Raw started off with Roman Reigns pretty much calling out Brock Lesnar. And then we got Y2J instead, which, you know, we've kind of talked about it throughout the show. Y2J is just kind of putting me to sleep. I don't know about y'all. Pretty much a show of himself, yeah. Yeah, but uh, he he invited Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar on the highlight reel, which Stephanie McMahon wasn't happy about that. Hey, Raw is Jericho anymore. Yeah, and the League of Nations were mad that they weren't invited on the show, but Chris Jericho kind of each individually told him no, and yeah, it kind of just sucked. Uh, but that led into a match uh, with Roman Reigns and Rusev, uh, which, you know, Rusev doesn't have a lot anymore, I guess. Um Kind of match. It's put together like last minute. Or... You made the point. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, uh, one of, Rusev used to be somewhat of a threat, but. Yeah. Now he's just a teddy bear instead of a grizzly. I mean, I guess the um, League of Nations, they win most of their matches, but it's just like hard to believe them as anything more than a mid card. Yeah, they don't you know. like, seem like a threat. Like, they're not beating everybody up. Everybody beats them. But then they win matches, though. I mean, but, I don't know. It's not going to last. But, yeah, it was a decent match, I suppose. Uh, Y2J was the ref. uh, And he ended up banning the League of Nations uh, ringside. And, you know, uh, then kind of did a little... uh, He celebrated after that. I did think that was kind of funny. He did the naked gun celebration. Like, you're out of here. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, Let's see. But, yeah, Stephanie McMahon was mad about that. Kind of boring. Uh, and then, as we mentioned, they kind of uh, promoted uh, the Total Divas, which probably comes on after uh, our show tonight, if you're still watching, of course. I wouldn't be. Um, let's see. Uh, well, uh, let's see. Nat- Natalia and Brie Bella with yeah, Natalia the put Alicia Fox. Natalia put the on and made a Brie Bella tap out. Yeah, and uh, of course, Natalia was with Paige, which weren't they feuding last time Natalia yeah, was they're, here? They're or? friends now, because Total uh, Divas. They're friends because of Total Divas now. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I guess it, like... Uh, they manage attention span. You know, we, we forget there are a few... We, we forgot about that. It was yeah. just only like three months ago. And then women but too. Women get... WWE yeah. counts on us forgetting. And then women too. Women like boys which you wash it. Yeah, well, uh, Natalia won with a quick sharpshooter. Yeah. You know, which I mean, I'm kind of glad it was quick. Um, but anyways, we see the Wyatt family going against the Dudley boys and Ryback. The Dudleys? The Dudleys! Uh, pretty much, it almost just kind of seems like they are always beating down Devon. You know, Devon is the guy that takes the beatings, and then you know, uh, Bubba Ray comes in for that's, hot. That's the that's the that's the thing for the tag teams, like they have a weak one and they have a strong one, right? Um, that's the history of the Dudleys. Yeah. yeah, I Devon's guess. Devon's always been the good wrestler. Uh-huh. Um, but I mean, really, I, uh, the Dudleys are another one. Like, when's the last time they won a match? Well, but they just they, they, yeah. Uh, but I think they're just there like to put the, oh, put the guys over. Oh, that's already, what they're there for. But it's yeah. not believable unless they ever like win some matches kind of yeah. before. Well, they do the same match over yeah. and over and well, over. Well, the tag team division like was doing good there for a while, but yeah. it's kind of faded. Um, well, and I mean, like, they don't put over anybody like the Ascension or, um, you know, other... The Ascension may put a little bit dug into himself a hole with their own show. Not really. That wasn't their idea to talk all that crap about the Legion of Doom and Demolition. Yeah. Well, that was written for them. Uh, 
anyways. Uh, but they are were kind of a rip off. But I mean, they could have done something with it. Yeah, that, still that's big guys. Could, yeah, they still could, but they're still young in the business. They, they they need to get rid of Kevin Dunn. Yeah. And just because yeah. Kevin Dunn and Vince McMahon won't push any new talent. Yeah, I don't like him for some reason. Yeah, no, Kevin Dunn would be like, I don't like him for some reason. It was, and you know, who, you know who loves to Kevin Dunn? Jim Cornette. Jim, Jim Cornette can say what. Well, it's uh, probably just because John Cena gives the best BJs. Yeah. All right. Um, can you say that on TV? Probably not. Uh, no. You can say it on paper. I meant AAs. AAs. Yeah, he gives the best AAs. Yes. Uh, I got my letters mixed up. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Moving on, moving on. The big slow versus a uh, Heath Slater one man band. Yeah, my man. With, who came out with the social outcast? Which, you know, let's go ahead and talk about the Josh dude, the yeah, Yeti the guy. Yeti, what's his name? Uh, he got he, The he, guy that won tough enough. Yeah, the guy that won tough enough. I don't think he's still training. He's still green. Porn, he's still green. You know what? And he said the social jobbers, and they pretty much told him off, you know, Kevin Owens. And Stardust pretty much told him, like, well... Then Will Dempsey. Will Dempsey yeah. said, uh, well, uh... Will Dempsey said, I'm, you know, I'll, we hang out and stuff, and I'll help you out in classes and stuff. You're doing this crap. And Stardust said, how about you just go and, you know... Dress in the hallway or something hallway. like that. And, you know, basically saying, like, you have no right to be calling anybody <coughs> jobbers. You're on the bottom of the barrel getting a six-figure contract yeah, for winning a, a reality you, TV show. I don't think you have a match yet. Or a real match yet? Mm, mm, probably not even in the uh, training season. Yeah. No, he's on the uh, Breaking Ground show. Yeah, and like like Evolve or yeah, something. Yeah, but that's that's nobody. But he's knows. like he's in level one right now as yeah. far as the training. Like you know, they move you up levels and stuff. Well, how by already you are, and he's, he's in level one. Season. Yeah. So need to say yeah. I mean, negative, which I don't necessarily think he meant anything by it. You know, I mean, he was just. He was probably just, you know, kind of chiming in, watching the show, and, like, the social jobbers, you know, but, I mean, like, still, that's your co-workers. You, yeah. you don't say stuff like that. And whenever you haven't earned your keep yet, you know. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, there was that. Uh, Vince and Stephanie McMahon, boo. Uh, they did the... Uh, yeah, the little... Uh, Powerball. They said yeah. the odds for Roman Reigns were about the same as the Powerball. And I guess get he they pretty much guaranteed he was the first entrant. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, then Charlotte with Ric Flair uh, came out ringside as Tamina went against Becky Lynch. Uh, Becky Lynch is really kind of picking up some steam here. Yeah, pretty much so. Like, and it's pretty awesome. They like they you know Becky Lynch earns it. You know she's been in the scene for that long and pretty much earns it. And like pretty much didn't like Ric Flair pretty much made the match. Well, yeah, Becky Lynch ended up, uh, after she won against Tamina, challenged uh, Charlotte for a title match. Yeah, Charlotte told her no, and Ric Flair was like, tell her, yeah, yeah, we... Yeah. Well, because she, you know, kind of probed Ric Flair, you know, and said, what are you, too old? You know, yeah. whatever. Um, so that makes your Divas title match, Charlotte against Becky Lynch. I'm seeing Woo! Charlotte retain here. Yeah. Um, so you and we'll, you know, we'll get to our predictions. Dirty player in the game. Oh, Sure. Um, let's see. So that covers that. Uh, Dean Ambrose and Kalisto going against Sheamus and Del Rio. Del Rio, the League of Nations, the tag team of League of Nations against a uh, weird combo with Dean Ambrose and Kalisto. Pretty good match, you know. With Wade Barrett out there and also Kevin Owens on commentary. So A lot of um, people, people said uh, Kevin Owens did a really good job in commentary. Yeah, he wasn't his usual self. I mean, like, he kind of was going through the motions a little bit. It seemed like he was tired. Oh, yeah. I can relate. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I thought Kalisto and Dean Ambrose had really good teamwork. Um, you know, they were um, kind of doing some team moves together, you know, and um, back salt off of each other, you know. I mean, it was pretty cool. Which Kalisto is the man. Um, I, I can definitely see him winning the title against yeah. Del Rio if there is going to be a title change in a match. I don't think Owens is going to beat yeah. Ambrose. Um, I don't necessarily think the Usos will beat the New Day. It's possible. Yeah, possible. It's possible. Just because they won the uh, Slammy. Yeah, and the New Day hasn't, haven't won a match in two months. But they they win at pay-per-views. You know? Um, so, 
So, well, I don't know. We'll see about that. Which, uh, speaking of New Day, we did see a eulogy for their trombone. Yeah, they're like a, they're like a little back, they're like a walk the king kind of thing. Uh, what's her name? You know, Prince, they were saying good Francesca. Yeah, Francesca. Yeah, and I mean, it was funny enough. You know, the New Day is entertaining. We like them. Um, and then they did a Jey Uso versus Big E. Yeah. And Big E was a actually able to get a victory. Yeah. Uh, I'm big on the Big E. Um, you know, I mean, I think he has potential. He's yeah. a former NXT champion. And, yeah, um, and his personality's kind of come out. And he's yes. a huge, you know. Yeah. So, if he ever, I mean, they still don't have an African-American world heavyweight champion in WWE. Yeah. So, the Rock I mean, doesn't count. Yeah, The Rock doesn't count. He's Samoan. Um, so, uh, yeah. if you ever are going to have that first uh, African American champion, I think Big E is a pretty darn good candidate. Rudy, Rudy, if not Rudy, him, Rudy. maybe Apollo Crews. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, Crews is better than Mike. I guess he's better. Mike. Yeah. Point of information we're forgetting about Mark Henry. Yeah, Mark Henry, well, I mean, he was the world heavyweight champion, not the world WWE world champion. Yeah. Well, so, you know, I count The Rock. His father was it was full. I mean, if you if you count the heavyweight championship, Ron Simmons was actually the first one in like the early nineties. Well, if you, if you want to go further farther back, the NWA Brazil. still doesn't recognize Bobo Brazil. Even Bobo he, Brazil, uh, right? Even though he cleanly beat uh, Nature Boy Buddy Rogers in nineteen sixty two, though that championship reign is not counted. Uh, now back to your regularly scheduled program. Good little trivia yeah. there. Thank you, sir. Yeah. See, we got uh, fans coming in from all about, you know, just coming, demanding we give them the yeah. correct wrestling information. Yeah. You know, so um, we got about nine minutes left. Yep. Nine minutes. And um, we had, so. Uh, we had Tyson, Tyson Neal, Mark Henry, R Truth, and Neville. Speaking Bruce. of Mark Henry. Uh, and they went against Stardust, The Ascension, and Tyler Breeze, uh, which they really didn't even make mention of Tyler Breeze. He was just kind of in the background here. That's pretty good second to have the, uh, the head. You know, Tyson Neal, Mark Henry, r Truth doing like for this is for all the, you know, this one from TNA, and they will put out his hand. Put it on there. All yeah. right, yeah. Like, which... We don't care, yeah, you just go. Yeah, Neville's been kind of, I mean, like, Neville has so much potential in the ring, but they've kind of just, like, made him a nerd in his yeah, uh, character. Uh, but whatever, you know, he, he, if you've seen him in real life, he kind of is kind of a nerd. He, like, dresses with his shirt buttoned glasses. all the way up to the top. He wears glasses, too. Right, yeah, so, well. And he's short. He's, like, how tall is he? Is he, like, five He's got the British accent. <laughs> At least they're not going with the whole Miz thing. Like, I yeah. want to learn your accent. <laughs> you know, yeah. that was stupid. Um, yeah, let's get through Raw. Um, so the baby faces won. That was just kind of preview the Royal Rumble. Uh, and then to close out Raw, we had the highlight reel. Um, Y2J put us to sleep for a little while. Uh, let's see. Royal Rumble is Suplex City, yada, yada. Uh, Paul Heyman had came out and, you know, kind of took up. Hold on, money was Paul Heyman. Then uh, Lesnar and Roman Reigns kind of came out at the same time, met in the ring. Uh, Roman Reigns like didn't even wait for him, just basically speared him right off the bat. Uh, then League of Nations came in, uh, and they jumped Roman Reigns after that. Uh, and then they tried to jump Brock Lesnar, uh, didn't necessarily succeed. Uh, he destroyed him, and then basically Roman Reigns gave Lesnar another spear. Um, so it's kind of setting up a feud between them. Uh, then the Wyatts actually came in and jumped Roman Reigns and then jumped Brock Lesnar, yeah. gave him a sister Abigail. Anybody but you, Roman. Anybody but you, Roman, or Brock Lesnar. So Wyatt says the rumble is his and yeah. follow the buzzards. So are we following the buzzards on Sunday, mm -hmm. folks? I think so. You follow the buzzards. You get the, you get the, uh, I'm curious to see. Um, I think if they do decide to go younger, newer guy yeah. to build, Bray Wyatt's their guy. Yeah. I, I think Kevin Owens would have been a good choice too, but I think they've kind of backed off of. Come on, give, give the wig, give a wig, a wig, uh, Latona. Uh, but we've been waiting for Bray Wyatt to be a believable yeah. heel that actually wins big matches from time to time. Yeah. Uh, you know, for a couple of years, he he always loses the big match. So, I mean, it's kind of made it tough to believe how scary he is. But you, you think know? he's, like, good enough to, like, his dad, his uncle was a good wrestler, his grandpa was a good wrestler. 
You think he's a good wrestler to be oh, champion? Yeah. Oh, surely. And I think he's got the gimmick for it, too. And person, he's got the heel the faction person, to you know, the win that. And so I when the championship was uh, his Uncle Barry. And Barry Reynolds probably the best natural wrestler ever. One of the best natural wrestlers ever. And so was his other Uncle Kendall. And his dad never won a championship. He's a good wrestler. He was tag team champion for a while. Yeah. But that's what he was. He's always been a tag team wrestler. Yeah. Now he's an agent. Now. Yeah, he's still there. Him and his, his man there, his whole family. Yeah. And his brother's probably not going to go championship. Bo's not going to be like do anything. Yeah, well, Bo's uh, kind of too fat. Mm, you know, he's too complacent. They say he drinks a lot of beer. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's so fat. The only thing, there's only one thing I don't like about the Rock. Yeah. They changed him from Lafayette to Florida. Yeah. You are right. In NXT, they were from Lafayette, Louisiana. Yeah, and then they switched him to Snake Bit in Florida. Well, it's probably because they come to Lafayette so much. But they don't announce Lafayette. They just announce Cajun. Yeah. They no longer announce, like... Oh, it's like Cajun country kind of yeah. thing, right? Yeah. They don't say, like, if your city's too small, they don't announce the city. Yeah. Like, if you watch SmackDown, it doesn't never say Lafayette. It just says the Cajun one. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so to get through all of our other news and notes, uh, you know, go through our predictions one more time. We got about a little less than five minutes. Uh, the first, <coughs> the first Hall of Famer of a, it's a Sting. Yep, yep. Which uh, they actually announced that last week. We we talked about yeah, that on know. the uh, show well, last they, week. Didn't they, they announce somebody last night? No, they didn't yeah. announce anybody new. <clears throat> they have like rumors like they're doing that the Freebirds, uh, doing uh, also Vader. Vader. Yeah, Vader. Owen Hart. Owen Hart. Like one girl being an ivory, or and they said, uh, Sonny wants to uh, pawn her ring, $100,000, and she wants to be exhibit. Oh, okay. Wow, uh, passing Mark, Mike Sharp, you know, big time. Uh, Sell the ring for how much? $100,000. $100,000. She and she said she'll do a visit for a million. For a million? Yeah. yeah you'll never see her again. Yeah. Unless she dates Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Uh, um, yeah, as we mentioned, uh, Daniel Bryan um, basically went to Pittsburgh to get cleared. checked by the doctor. Well, he hasn't been cleared yet, and we will see. Um, let's see, Stephanie McMahon hinted uh, that a Royal Rumble entrant would be somebody that the WWE Universe has never seen. A lot of people are saying AJ Styles. Um, let's see, Total Divas series premiere tonight. Um, not the series premiere, the season premiere. They said uh, Stephanie McMahon's going to... Probably do WrestleMania. She said she's in shape to go to. What, what about the Undertaker, man? Yeah. Everybody seemed to forget about the Undertaker. What about him? What if he comes back and wins the Rumble? Yeah. That'd be the perfect way for him to end his career. Let Bray Wyatt beat him at WrestleMania main event. Yeah. Mm. That would definitely solidify him as the, mm. the new dead person mm. slash gimmick. Possibly, yeah. Although, now, although that'd be another new, WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think he got in his contract. He got one more time. Yeah. Why not? It's a possibility. Is it a possibility? Um, Jr. got him a new job. Yeah, good old Jr. We got our money from being Japan. Well, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, there has been talks that um, Stardust and Stephen Amell. Uh, that their feud possibly could continue. They are making an appearance at a hero villain um, convention, I guess. Uh, this, <laughs> so, uh, but you know, there's talk that they might even end up having like a WrestleMania rematch because they and they were very impressed with Stephen Amell. I was impressed with Stephen Amell uh, at SummerSlam. Are you as far as if uh, you're watching SmackDown Thursday. Uh, they announced that um, they will have a Miz TV, and it seems like we get either a highlight reel or a Miz TV every show. And boring, um, it sticks. <laughs> but anyways, Miz TV is going to feature Dean Ambrose, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns is also going to take on all four members of the League of the Nations because that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let's see, um, that pretty much covers that. Uh, we got about a minute left, so let's just run through our Royal Rumble. 
Uh, predictions, Dean Ambrose against Kevin Owens. I'm thinking Dean Ambrose Dean. retains. You agree? Yeah. Agree? Okay, uh, Del Rio against Kalisto. I think Kalisto gets his title back, and Del Rio moves on to bigger and better things. Yeah, Usos versus New Day. New Day goes over. They kind of cheat. I guess you all agree. Um, yeah, New Day and Usos. Uh, New Day. New Day. Kind of, they cheat. And then Divas match. Uh, it's going to be Charlotte. She's going to be the dirtiest player like her dad. She's going to cheat also. I can see it. Uh, and then the Rumble. I think it's going to be like a two-person... It's gonna be like a 94 Rumble Royal Rumble again, 02. Bret Hart next week. Yeah, Bret Hart next week, kind of Rumble. That is a possibility. <laughs> Definitely a possibility. And Nick looks like, Nick looks like Barry Horowitz. Barry, what's his name? The one who was uh, the manager for the. Oh, Bruno. Yeah, he looks like Bruno. Bruno. Yeah. 